Joining us today on NDTV is Andrew L. Cohen, the Managing Director of J.P. Morgan Private Bank. Andrew, thanks very much for your time with NDTV. You've uh, moved to Asia recently, and, you know, a very basic question at the outset, what's it like to be in Asia right now? Absolutely fascinating. Uh, fabulous. Uh, it's been six weeks, and I think I've been to six countries in six weeks, each week a different, uh, different new environment. I do feel I'm a little bit from the region because I'm from Australia. So I grew up with Asia as a, as a very close neighbor and, and had been lucky to travel as a, as, a, as a child and as an adolescent. But I've been 20 years in Europe and the US. So it's very nice to be back, uh, back in the neighborhood. Everybody wants to be in Asia right now because that's where the growth is and, well, enunciated. But I want to try and understand, because you have the Europe-US uh, experience and you, you're sitting where the growth is, where the opportunities are, what are investors thinking right now? What is their attitude towards risk, their attitude towards investing, and more specifically, in emerging markets and Asian markets? It's a terrific question. I think it's what's on everybody's minds. Coming out of 2007, 2008, risk is the key element. And at JP Morgan, you know, we are very, very focused on risk and risk averseness. So there is obviously a diversification from Western markets, the emerging market growth story, uh, for really the four big countries, the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, has been a theme uh, right through this, uh, but particularly Asia. And I think it's not just China and India. There's other regional markets that have developed incredibly quickly uh, over the past years. Uh, I think on investors' minds, it's you know, where can I get that balance between risk and reward and meeting the objectives? And that's what we at JP Morgan spend a lot of time uh, analyzing and uh, delivering advice to clients. So uh, you know, again, this is such a naive question to ask because it, you know, varies from investor to investor. But if there's any risk associated with uh, Asia right now, what is that perceived risk in the mind of investors? Because the growth opportunities we don't need to underline. Well, I think anything that grows as quickly uh, as, you know, for instance, uh, India and China um, in terms of GDP growth numbers has an associated risk. Um, we believe long term in, uh, in, in, in analyzing markets and fi finding out the best investment views in, in terms of industry and in terms of geography. Uh, and I think at the moment, uh, you know, this area, as you've actually rightly pointed out, um, has been the, an area of stability for, for the world post the crisis, but also of, of great future growth. And I think, you know, we're particularly seeing that here at the World Economic Forum, huge amounts of discussion around the consumer markets, you know, moving into domestic consumer markets, in particularly India and China. Uh, but I think that's where we have to do a huge amount of analysis to make sure we're making the right investment decisions. Where does India fit in? In, As, in the pecking order, in the rung, in the priority list? Well, firstly, nobody can ignore India. Um, right. You know, population, uh, size of economy, and I think judging by the president's visit last week uh, and the news on that and what is going on, I think that I India is an incredibly important part of our global uh, orientation. Depending again on each different clients, uh, you know, we're a boutique view when we look at investments, so in each individual client's risk appetite, uh, India is a different part of that in, in many different facets, but, but definitely an important and becoming more important part of uh, our global allocations. If you can, can you share with us uh, some of the profile of some of the investors who are interested in India specifically and in the emerging economies in Asia in general? I think that's a great question because it's shifted from a view on emerging markets per se to people actually identifying different consumer trends and different specific trends in different markets, whether it's in autos or pharmaceuticals or, or uh, tourism and lodging and the like. And again, uh, for us, it comes down to each indiv individual investor's appetite uh, where we're going to be making those decisions. 